Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to be just sharing really quickly with you guys the info about this hair that I have on my head right now. A lot of you guys have asked me for the details about another wig that I had just like this. Um, I feel like this is a great beginner friendly curly style. This is a full lace wig from myfirstwig.com. If you don't know what myfirstwig.com is, it is the sister site of RPG Show. Their wigs are affordable and super easy to install yourself and super easy to take care of. I find that their wigs last a very long time. I don't have problems with them. This is a shorter style. It's not short because once you straighten the hair, it is about 16 inches long. It's not black, it's natural hair color. Um, the cap size that I have is a cap size number one. It is on a glueless lace cap and the lace color is light brown. Glueless lace cap means that the whole wig itself is a full lace so there's no tracks um you can part it wherever you want and it's gonna look like hair coming out of a scalp so it is a full lace which means that it is gonna be a little more expensive than a lace front lace front wigs um tend to be a bit cheaper because not all of the hair is hand tied onto the cap every single strand of hair is hand tied onto this cap so it gives you the most natural look possible no matter where you part it i specifically wanted to make this wig because i remember trying my first curly hair um i actually had a sew-in for the first time way back in the day like when i first started youtube in like 2011. i had no idea how to take care of curly hair it was a lot of maintenance wearing it on my head all the time just trying to wash it and take care of it it was a lot of work and so i remember you know when i wanted to try curly hair again it was when i had started wearing wigs and the wig thing was just so much easier the maintenance on it was easier the upkeep was easier so all in all i find that if you're gonna wear curly hair i would always suggest going with a removable unit when i got my first curly sew in i got three bundles of curly hair that did not include a closure so it was open at the top which means I'd wear my own hair out I spent around $300 just for all of the bundles now if you're really good and you can sew you could sew your own hair in you can braid your own hair down and sew your own hair in cool if not you're gonna go to somebody who's gonna install the bundles for you they'll ask you to pay around 75 to 100 dollars if you take good care of it you could probably get away with wearing the hair again um, but it probably won't look exactly the same as when you first bought it However, if you did get a lace wig like this, you would get this full unit that has to be manipulated like at the very minimum once every month, maybe, if you do that much. But all I had to do was cut the lace off the front of this wig and I literally adjusted the straps in the back. I braided my hair into two plaits. Both plaits are terrible, by the way, because I can't braid. Slid the combs into those two plaits and it took me 10 minutes. This is no gluing, no sewing. Literally, all I did was use the adjustable straps to get it to lay flat. But this is the wig, I can lift it up, and as you can see, that's my hair. The pre-plugged unit is so easy to install because literally all you have to do is put it on your head and it matches. You can put some eyeshadow on there to make it look more like your scalp color, but honestly, this matches my head so perfectly, it looks like it's coming out of my scalp, guys. Also, this hair is um, human hair, so you can straighten it, you can wash it, you can dye it different colors, you can blow dry it, you can do whatever you want to it, and it is going to work like real hair. This hair is really, really light. I feel like I have nothing on my head. It's definitely not heavy at all. Um, and I didn't experience a ton of shedding. I think I maybe got one or two hairs. But by all means, if you are just the kind of person who likes to throw stuff on and take it off and not care, I mean, go the synthetic route. But honestly, I feel like if you want to get the most out of your wig, getting a human hair wig on a lace cap is definitely the way to go and I don't think you'd be wasting your money if you got this type of hair um, especially because this is such an easy style I mean it's not like anything complex um, so you're not really risking anything with this I think it's a really good beginners curly unit as you guys know my first wig wigs come in great packaging they come in a box like this um, you get a wig cap I prefer the netted caps as opposed to using these this is a netted one I don't like this color though. I usually get the black ones because this one will show through and it'll be harder for you to match up your scalp with this. You can also get these um, little pouches for your wig if you are a beginner and you don't have any wig um, essentials. That comes with a comb and 
some wig clamps to clamp your hair back when you're doing your makeup or whatever. Elastic band to put on your wig if you are paranoid and you don't want your hair to slide off. This will definitely help to hold it down. You can sew this to both sides of the head and it will pull the wig down super tight so it doesn't go anywhere. Cool little knickknacks in here that show you how to take care of your wig. It's tutorials in here all kinds of information and your wig comes in this very nice case that you can keep and store your wig back inside of this so yes this is the victoria loose curly unit if you guys like it i have a link in the description box plus a coupon code so you guys can check it out and get yours be sure to check out my first my first wig um, which is the victoria bob that wig is also available in lace front and full lace versions if you would like to see um, a video on how i uh, revive the curls in the morning how i take care of the curls it's really really simple um, but i can do a video like that for you but uh, other than that if you have any other questions let me know and i will see you guys in my next video okay